A great day for football in Chattanooga, Tennessee. The 1AA championship game. Youngstown State, the Penguins, against Georgia Southern. The Eagles and the Penguins both at 12 and 2. Jim Tressel comes in in his 14th season. This is his sixth trip to the championship game. He's won four of five. Paul Johnson in his third season at Georgia Southern. Last year they played UMass for this championship and lost. And they have been waiting for this day for a long time. Youngstown State, the team of the 90s. Four championships in the 90s. Georgia Southern, four championships. Three of those in the 80s. And we are underway. Betty Cunningham for Georgia Southern. Cunningham out to the 40. He's close to midfield. As if this Georgia Southern offense needed any help, Rod. Yeah, 47 yards on the return, and that's an example of what you're going to get from Georgia Southern, Rich. Speed and more speed. And Cunningham is not the fastest guy in that backfield. That man is a real key right there. That's Greg Hill. He's a senior quarterback. Those are his passing numbers. Important as well, his running numbers. This Georgia Southern team runs the triple option. And the man behind Hill is a real load. This is Hill himself across midfield. Hill can break it. The offensive line very good. Mark Williams is an All-American at the right guard. Flags down. Hill's pitch is bobbled but caught. And there's Adrian Peterson with his first. There's a marker on the field. And the offsides goes against Youngstown State. Yeah, I think they got Todd Blackwell offsides that time, number 95. Youngstown State's defense. Georgia Southern declines the penalty, first down. From the Youngstown 41, Hill will keep it. He's to the 37 yard that of 216 again, which he's done in the playoffs. Well, his numbers are just incredible. It's like high school numbers when you look at him. He's the belly back of the triple option, and he's down to the 33 yard. 29 consecutive 100 yard games. Third down now, and two. And it's Peterson to the 30, and he's got the first down. Later at Hawaii, and he returned to Georgia Southern, where he started his coaching career as an assistant. And well, you got to have a good quarterback to run it, though. And Greg Hill is all of that. Hill will pitch it. This is Sherrod Freeman, and he's knocked out of bounds at the 14-yard line. Dwight Smiley made the stop. There's a big problem, and that man Hill is the trigger man for the offense. Peterson to the. That clock has run down a couple times as Peterson is inside the 10. Put on the ground because of the emotional aspect of it, but Georgia Southern has done what they've done all season long. Take the ball right down the field on you. Benny Cunningham's kickoff return setting up this drive which started at midfield. Hill, he stopped Tim Johnson. The last week with an interception that got Youngstown State into this ball game. Youngstown State was down by two scores to Florida A&M. Before that pick. Fourth down and four. The Eagles will go for it. And there's a look at the wishbone. And it looks like they were trying to draw Youngstown State offside. Because Hill calls the timeout. And the field goal unit is on their way out. We're underway. The one double drive stopped inside the Youngstown 10. Chambers has struggled this year. Six of 15. But this one is true. Georgia Southern is on the board first in this 1AA championship game. The Eagles, 3 0. For nine plays on 44 yards, remember the kickoff return by Benny Cunningham, which set it up. Andre Coleman from the eight. And Coleman is out to the 23 yard line.
The starting lineups for Youngstown State. Jeff Ryan is their quarterback. Adrian Brown is a real good one. He is a bruising running back. And Brown will get it. Brown out to the 35. He's got a first down. Georgia Southern's defense. Going to have to get it going inside there for Georgia Southern. Brown again. It is a Youngstown State offense that I think is you can categorize as a smash mouth offense. And that guy is the reason why. At six feet 230, he can rumble out to midfield. And another Penguin first down. 270. Adrian Brown has been the focal point on this drive, and he'll get it again. Look at the hole this time, and Brown is inside the 40. Adrian Brown is on this drive, 36 yards, five carries. Shirey and company up front, providing the hole. Brown again. Look at him go. <laughs> head down to the 32 yard line, eight yards on that pickup. It is smash mouth, it is power, there's nothing fancy about this. But second down and short. This time the fullback gets his first touch. Jerry Johnson, the sophomore. Your heels a little bit. You want to make sure that you can stop this thing so you can get back to flying around. Right now, they're in a boxing match and they're getting pounded. First and ten. He may opt on his first carry. With Brown out of the game, he's down to the 28. It's a gain of maybe one. <laughs> Jeff Ryan chose to come to Youngstown because he wanted rings. And he'll put it up. Ryan, man open, caught at the one yard line. Renault Ray. 28 yards on the completion. First and down is back in behind Johnson. Fumble. Ryan got back into the pile. Whose is it? Youngstown State will hold on to it. And Jeff Ryan to ground almost exclusively with Adrian Brown. And that one pass was set up by that hard running inside. Brown will get it. And Brown will walk into the end zone. Touchdown, Youngstown State. I give all the props and the glory to Adrian Brown for getting the touchdown, but Jerry Johnson, the fullback, we showed. <laughs> Hunter Anthony Razzo, the hold playoffs. And Youngstown State feels that they are a very physical football team. But few people have been able to stop Georgia Southern this year. Cunningham is out to the 27-yard line. First and 10 now, Georgia Southern. Fullback. You'll get arguments, I think, from the Southern Conference as well. They put three teams in the playoffs. Georgia Southern has won that conference three consecutive times. Hill. And Hill has got a lane. He's just tripped up. Oh, this is over 3,000 on the ground and in the air. Down he goes. He'll lose. Cutting. That's a great point, Donnie. The way you get cut on the perimeter sets up the big plays for the option offense. Hill, the pitch. Almost fumbled. Benny Cunningham is out to the 43 more yards because of the blocking on the perimeter. This time Hill gives it to Adrian Bat. Look what he did for his, uh, the season. 2476 yards, uh, 37 touchdowns. This is Hill. And Hill, he can go. <laughs> Touchdown Georgia Southern, 42 oh. yards. <laughs> I ask you, Mr. Waltz, do you like power or do you like speed? Pick your poison so far. Gray Hill. 22nd rushing touchdown for Hill. Yeah. 
Chambers for the point. Greg Hill, the senior out of Sarasota. Not real big, 5'11", 163, but he can run the option and he can fly. And watch the linebackers inside, 36. Dominelli gets tied up and he can't get to the quarterback. You see the way he gets pushed out. Johnson 45 overruns it and then it's just natural ability and instincts from Hill. The great cutback there. But the key the way they got the inside linebackers knocked off there. Once again there you see the center getting a good job. Belgraf getting inside on the inside linebackers and that opened up that inside for Hill. Great job. Chambers the kick. Andre Coleman from the 12. Coleman for the 20 tight end look from Youngstown. Ryan. A nice catch by Casey Bogard, the tight end. And Bogard is across the. And he's under pressure right away. Lots of time for Ryan to the sidelines. It is caught pretty good at Georgia Southern. They can play man to man. I think you have to turn them loose and let them play. Or you see Moreland coming up and he's playing man to man at the bottom of the screen. Brown. Brown is loose. Adrian Brown rumbles down to the 12 yard line. He's doing a great job. to the five yard and, and Jim Trestle's team has come from behind. They have not been pretty but they find themselves in the championship game. Now they're on the move again. John Shoemaker in motion. Adrian Brown to the four yard line close to the first down. Michael Wolf. We'll see how long you can take it. And so far Georgia Southern hasn't been able to step up to it. They mark it just inside the five. Ryan on the option is close to the first down. Or rather it was and the first quarter is in the books. Youngstown State down three. Fourth down. The Penguins have driven inside the five yard line of Georgia Southern and Jim Trestle is going for it. Yeah I take the points I and mean, Georgia Southern just made a play defensively. They have a little momentum. Take your point. You're, you're going to get back down here anyway. Yeah, keep coming back at them. Don't give them any chance to think they can get back in the ball game because they get a stop here. That's just my view. What do I know? I'd go for it. Of course you would. <laughs> I'd give it to Eric Gambler. I'd give it to Adrian <laughs> Brown. And it's Brown on the carry. And Brown, boy, very close. Michael Ward, Arky Thompson. That's why I wouldn't have run that play there. I take the points and just give him another dagger. Not by much. 70 yards on seven plays. We're not going to see any plays today, are we? All but one of those plays on the ground. And Ryan will keep it. He stretches. He's in. Touchdown, Youngstown State. To add the point. We may not see a punt all day long. We won't see it in this game. To us. Show us you can stand in there and fight with us. Haven't done it yet. Cunningham. Then he holds on to this one. Flags go down at the 20 yard line. Cunningham down. At Art Bellows with the call. It'll back Georgia Southern up. Greg Hill, a lot of time, and he gets outside. 
to the 18-yard one interception. He vowed that he would do whatever it took to get back this year and win the game. Put a lot of pressure on himself, but he's come through so far. Seven turnovers as a team in that championship loss to UMass. And here's Peterson to the 20. On first and 10, the pitch, Cunningham. And Benny is down to the 35-yard line. Look to your guy and not worry about where the football is. They have yet to put it in the air. And Peterson busts into the backfield across the 45. 12 yards and another. Peterson, that time he's put down on a good, hard hit by Kawanzas. Are looking at. <laughs> on second and seven. Hill. A great. Good if Donnie Mack is making you blow your assignments when he had the ball in his hands, huh, Rich? And don't forget, Don McPherson threw the ball in college as well. Absolutely. Threw it in the NFL, too. Hill on the run. Nice throw. Dedrick Parr on the catch. He comes around him. Nice and easy lane to throw that football. Plenty of stuff. Good blocking outside by Parham as well. Hill on the pitch. Outside is Peterson. And Peterson is inside the 15. Down to the 14. Hands on him. He gets outside. And again, Rich, we don't see any moves from him outside. He's still running on a track, not changing directions at all. Straight ahead, Peterson to the sixth. We're going to have a lot of points in this ball game. Peterson still fighting down inside the three. Did you see how the play it hurt? A little uh, wishbone look. Is he in? Yes! Oh. Touchdown! Adrian Peterson fights his way into the end zone. Well, that would have made Walter Payton very proud. And that, that man was stopped at about the two yard line. Two, one and a half, kept the legs moving, driving, spinning, and fighting to get into the end zone. He's only a sophomore. He's already, what, the career rushing leader at Georgia Southern? Or close to it. His numbers continue to grow. That's 38 touchdowns on the year. Just me or is that just an eye-popping stat that just seems ridiculous? <laughs> it's not just you. The point is good. We're getting a look at one of the great players in college football. You know, watch his numbers, and it's so dominating the way he does it. Reminds you of the way Jerry Rice dominated when he was in one double-A. 17-14, Georgia Southern. This is an old-fashioned shootout, but it's on the ground. Andre Coleman at the five-yard line. And Coleman is out to the 22-yard line. Yeah, not much in the air, but the tremendous effort by Peterson. 88 yards on 11 plays. How about Allen blocking 290-pound fullback last time? Ron Allen right back at nose tackle for Georgia Southern. That's a different kind of two-way player. I mean, you're used to seeing the wide receiver, defensive back, you know, Deion Sanders got major. Academic All-American, and he's already graduated. He's thinking about medical school. Ryan, lots of time, going deep for Ray, and he can't hold it. Third down conversions. Redstown State all of one today. Shotgun for the first time from Ryan. He'll go deep, and he overthrows Jared Zwick. Classic. You can't play it any better than that. This is the first punt of the ball game. Anthony Razzo. <laughs> Anthony Williams. To the 43-yard line. The reason adjustment that would be well called for, considering that Peterson's been killing them inside. Outside goes Hill. 
The pitch to Cunningham, and there he goes! Goodbye, Benny Cunningham! 57 yards. But back to the chalkboard. You take away the dive, and the pitch can kill you. Double eagle that. Yeah. They have so many weapons. Peterson inside, Hill outside, and then on the pitch, Cunningham. That didn't take long. Speed hits in a hurry. Yes. Chris Chambers for the extra point. Georgia Southern is showing why. They are one of the most productive running teams, not in the NCAA this year, but almost of all time. They, their numbers are just incredible. Well, when you make the adjustment, you know, the numbers are going to be huge like that. But you go double eagle like that, you put the pressure on your inside guys. The safeties have to come from inside out to make the play. That's a long run because your corners aren't there to help. Your corners are playing man to man. So the safeties have to run inside to the quarterback and then to the pitch man. That's a long distance. They take false steps. Hill has the leverage on them. There's no way the linebackers and the safeties can get inside and catch up with somebody with Cunningham speed. Don, Don McPherson, you obviously ran the option very high. Like Donnie Mack said, you can't catch that guy. Andre Coleman from the two. Andre Coleman spills out to the 34-yard line. In the AFC West in his last game. Dennis Erickson. Very good. I wonder where that note came from. <laughs> Adrian Brown. Brown. Extra effort to the 38, and he was very close. <laughs> which would have been my choice. <laughs> That's the way of the world, Pat. He's from Atlanta. He's a senior. If you're not an Earth, Wind, Fire fan, you just won't get those songs. Really. No, Jeff Ryan is out to the 45-yard line. Milwaukee Thomas ends that run. But it's a first down now. It's on the playground. The kids didn't know. It's a good point. <laughs> you have to think about these things. Ryan running out of time, and down he goes. Freddie Pescada. That one up. Okay. It's your first of hopefully many. Ryan in trouble. He goes down again. Ron Allen counts attack a little more balanced. But right now, they are faced with third down and a whole bunch. This, this is just crazy. You see that? 241 versus 94. Timeout on the field. Paul Johnson on the right. Two very successful head coaches in one double-A football. And right now, Jim Trussell's got to look at that chart and find a third down and 26 play. Ryan to the sidelines. It is Paul. At midfield, short of the first down, so Anthony Razzo will kick it. It's a short one, not a good kick. Williams at the 27 yard line. Adrian Peterson is taking care of things right now. And Peterson is all the way down to the 30. He's still on his feet. Peterson still on his feet. Peterson down to the 10. Oh, my. Take that. Did we say that he won the Walter Payton Award and that he would resemble sweetness? This is as close to sweetness as you're going to get on the college level, maybe even the pro level. Watch the tackles that he breaks, and then watch the determination at the end. He dishes out punishment there, keeps his balance, and now, even at the end when there's nothing left, he throws people out of the way for more yardage. 58 yards, and he has electrified this crowd in Chattanooga. He'll get it again. And I think he'll fall down to the 12 in exhaustion. David Vecchione made the stop. 
flag down. That turf toe doesn't seem to be bothering him now. Now he has the proof, the video to, to prove it. Absolutely. On the offense, 10-yard penalty was his first down. You figure. Georgia Southern and their postal can walk up to Edgar and James and say, hey, you're not so tough. My little brother can do what you do. Hill. Peterson gets it again. He's 10. Peterson, 5. He's in. Touchdown. 22 yards. Sums it up. Oh man, a tremendous individual effort, but he'd be the first to tell you he got some great help from his teammates, particularly the wide receivers blocking down the field. Dedrick Parham doing a great job once again. Chris Chambers for the extra point. On that drive, Adrian Peterson ran over everyone except our Don McPherson. Donnie, that was something to watch. Oh, give me a piece of this. Watch this guy out here. You're going to see good blocking out there. 83 Parham, nice job, but watch him work there, Rich. And Donnie Mack, you got to love that. Great, great play off. by Peterson, but one of the things you have to credit is Greg Hill turning his back. Linebacker coming fast. He gets it off. Great play by Hill to get it off to Peterson. And once again, this kid, you can't say anything more about the effort that this kid is putting in, especially with an injured toe. You're absolutely right, Donnie Mack. Quarterback Hill, great job. I love the double eagle take away the dive. They got the big play outside by Cunningham. Look at this. 340 yards total for Georgia Southern, and it happened in a hurry. Andre Coleman. And Coleman is swallowed up at the 22-yard line. 5-17 left, second quarter. I'll leave that one alone. <laughs> Jeff Ryan turns and gives it to Adrian Brown. And the Georgia Southern defense, though not as spectacular as the offense, this Youngstown State team, strangely enough, has almost played better when they've been behind this year. And they're behind right now and on the run. Ryan, he's across the 35. He's got a first down. Can beat Florida a and with 44 seconds left. Ryan scrambling. He'll go down again at the 30. Freddie Pescada made the stop. Well, this is the same problem they had again. And Jared Zwick is now in at quarterback. He'll run some option and he goes down. They'll pick it off. They could be in trouble. 0 of 3 on third down. Ryan underneath. Out to the 38. Anthony Dorazzo. With Anthony Williams deep. Williams. Anthony Williams. He will go. Touchdown, Georgia Southern. No flags. Seventy two yards. And it's about speed. I'm not talking about the speed in the open field. I'm talking about the burst. Chris Chambers with the extra point. 38-14. 72 yards, and he covered that in a hurry. Watch him on this. We talked about his speed. Watch how he outruns the tacklers in here, uses his speed, and you'll see it move, and then right now, freeze it. Right there, look at all the guys around him. He's got an angle. He's got an angle. He's got an angle. Ain't gonna happen. He just turns on the Jets, outruns everybody. That is speed. That's not using any moves. It's saying, I have the Jets. I'm gonna make it happen. 150-pound freshman. Defense, they can't take a playoff anymore. Georgia Southern is the Mark McGuire of 1AA football. Andre Coleman. 
Coleman. And Coleman's loose. He falls down at the 38-yard line. 38 yards on the return. Third twin Moreland with the stop. And now Youngstown State with two minutes left. Trying to salvage something from this first half. Ryan. That won't get it done to the 42. Box and they got pounded out of out of that position. Now with the lead, look at the field is spread now. All these receivers out here. Speed can negate that. Five wide receivers. Ryan's throw is caught out to the 43-yard line. Denver Williams made the stop. Again, beating a double team. That speed and that strength inside. Third down. Ryan's going to tuck it and pay the price. Short of the first down at the 40. You know, Rich, when we talked to Paul Johnson earlier this week, he sounded supremely confident about his team and his offense. And we said, well, what happened if they stop your offense from running and throw the ball? He went, well, nobody has stopped us. <laughs> <laughs> He's right. This one is going to roll dead, and the time is going to roll right off the clock. Very quiet on the Youngstown State sideline. 38-14, Georgia Southern on 25 yards on the ground. That's in one half. <laughs> I mean, this that looks like a misprint. <laughs> 325 rushing in the first half. And now Youngstown State who has found a way to come from behind all year long is going to have to do it against a sky-high Georgia Southern team. Andre Coleman. Coleman has come close to breaking. And once again, on the perimeter, Georgia Southern is dangerous. Here comes Adrian Brown, and he's dangerous as well. Brown is out of bounds at the 25-yard line. To do, they got to have some patience. Brown now with 128 yards, which he's not the only Adrian over 100. Jeff Ryan with Ray in motion. Akpan. M.A. Akpan with the carry. Jason. That's a thing, a real key for them, Rich. Out of Powder Springs, Georgia. Ryan. Lots of time. And it's incomplete. It was tipped. Third down. 0 of 5 today. Ryan down. Corey Middlebrooks. Fourth sack of the day for Georgia Southern. And the more that Georgia Southern gets Youngstown State into a wide season. From 42 yards. He is 11 second half. That man, Adrian Peterson, had an amazing first half. You can bet he'll be featured here in the second half. Hill will pitch Cunningham. He broke this one for a score in the first half, and he's broken this one, but not for a score. He's to the 30. Kawanza Swan made the stop. Uh, Don McPherson told you about the triple option. Great decision making once again by Hill. He recognizes that they take away the dive and he can't get it. Goes to the pitch. And then once again, Cunningham makes the big play on the outside. You see what Youngstown State is saying. They're saying, we're not going to let Peterson beat us inside again. We got to go stop the play up the gut. They can't take everything away, though. Peterson's first touch. Don McPherson, your thoughts on Greg Hill because we've we've focused so much on Adrian. Whitman has done a great job of calling plays. They run the trap option, then they run the triple option that you just saw. And this kid, Greg Hill, has done a tremendous job of making decisions. This time he'll keep it, and down he goes to the 28-yard line. Soft is because of the blocking on the perimeter, how they cut you up, and you don't know where the ball's going to be. Peterson on third down, and the Youngstown State Penguins have stopped Georgia Southern at this offense. Jim Tressel faced Indiana State this year in the gateway, the only team that ran an offense similar to this. And Georgia Southern is going to go for it on fourth down, and Peterson did not get it. He has stopped at the 21-yard line. So Youngstown State with a big stop, but they've got a long way to go to get out of the... Brown. He 
He's met straight up by Freddie Pesqueda. I, I think what you're gonna, he went to the Buffalo Bills and he picked up that five receiver Doug Flutie offense. It's in their package. We might see it soon. I'm not sure it'll help them with this defense though. Unless they can get Flutie along with it. Right. That's incomplete. In effect. Not just on name alone. <laughs> Ryan throwing and it's incomplete flags go down yeah they're gonna get Ryan Hatton for sticking his hand in there he had the left arm draped the interference pass interference on the defense 15 yard penalty automatic first down don't call it when you get it right in the middle of the back 15 yard penalty first down here comes a blitz. Ryan's in trouble. Boy, and down he goes. Back of the 24-yard line. It's a huge loss. Well, almost 15 yards. Jason Neese, Corey Middlebrooks in on the stop. Well, I hate to beat the dead horse, but speed, pal. You know. Second down and 23. Play clock has expired. Right, they got the timeout in. Boy. Jeff Ryan got the timeout, but the Penguins lose that timeout. They saved the five yards, a quick throw to Jared Zwick, the backup quarterback, who is also a, a wide receiver. It's a short pattern, but well to against Florida AM. Third and 22. Ryan steps up. He will scramble, and down he goes at the 35 yard line. It has had a whale of a game. True freshman. Razo gets it off. Williams, who broke one for a score in the first half. Not this time. Lost the football. Was he down? Apparently so. Youngstown State will not get it. Georgia Southern will hold on. We go to the sidelines of Don McPherson. Rich, five sacks for Georgia Southern and Youngstown State. They need to go to a short passing game, keep him close to the line of scrimmage. Good points, Donnie. Hill's going to throw it. Incomplete. Dedrick Parham was open. He had a great first half, came out strong in the second half. Flag down. Hill pitches it in time. Sherrard Freeman. Too many men in motion. There should be double movement over there, which is your illegal motion. All right. But you know what I mean about the offense? It's hard to recruit for it. Craig Hill, back at the 27-yard line. That's what, but the problem is those guys think they're NFL players. They don't want to run this offense. Hill, he'll keep it out to the 34-yard line, not having the athletes, because sometimes you see a school say, We'll run this offense or an option type attack because we don't have the athletes. Georgia Southern has the athletes. Flags are down. I think that's what makes them so dominant at this level. Yeah, because you can have the scheme that you want, but speed will kill that scheme. And we've seen that today. The first punt by Georgia Southern today, but a penalty flag on the play. Right? Flying to the snap, a false start on the offense. This punt team is, is vastly underused. He probably won't have a good punt. He's cold. Last time he warmed up really was uh, before the game, some two and a half, three hours ago. Well, you know what? If I were the punter, I'd think about transferring. <laughs> <laughs> this one at the 45 yard line, and they're down it at the 46. It's a good problem to have, obviously. Scott Shelton, the true freshman, with a pretty good kick there. And Georgia Southern in control. That's one mean-looking bird. 38-14, Georgia Southern.
One mean looking team today. On top of Youngstown State. But look what's happened since that second touchdown that they scored. Remember they had that fourth down, Rich, they went for it, and we said it could give the defense a lift. They've shut them out since then, really. On the throw, Renault Ray has the catch, and Ray is inside the 25. Ray is down to the 15-yard line. They've won 15 wow. consecutive playoff games, and that streak is obviously in jeopardy right now. Ryan, little short pass, dumps it to Brown, and Adrian Brown makes the catch. Oh, of the line of scrimmage and the ball game, if they can do that. They can then run Brown behind that and start looking at points. And a no huddle look. Ryan, that one bounces off of Giles. Third down. Moreland, the senior out of Atlanta. Remember, Ryan's been sacked five times as well. Here comes a blitz. Ryan floats it incomplete into the end zone. Art Griffith, who came up short from 42, now will attempt a 30-yarder. And this one is good. Cunningham. Benny Cunningham slides in safely to the 34-yard line. I know you're a big fan of it told us this year that to prepare for a bowl game, as you look at the national championship, to prepare for a bowl game, teams spend a month of practice leading into a bowl game. So he wasn't that concerned about that entire month run. It, he felt, having been through it as the head coach, gone for the entire month. Sure, but you've got a number of teams, at least, what is it, uh, another eight or so, mm -hmm. ten or so, that will be playing more than 11 games. Mm -hmm. And physically, that's a pretty demanding schedule for guys this age. Is that any more demanding than playing 13 games, which most divisions... You wouldn't have 15 games. You wouldn't have 13 games. Greg Hill. Down he goes at the 31-yard line. They want the holiday audience. They want the people sitting down with, with the tryptophan uh, haze and, and watching football all day long. They're not going to move the ball games up, and that's what runs Division I-A college football at the ball game. Peterson to the 20. Peterson, get out of my way. I'm going to score. Out of bounds at the 1. And a flag down at the 5. Uh, LeVar Green, I think, grabbed him by the face mask because he said, I'm not going to be on that highlight reel going out like that. I'll grab your face mask or something, but I'm not letting you do that to me. You don't want to appear in the highlight reel with Peterson. It's a bad thing if you're a defensive player. Watch the end of this run. Watch Green come over and try to stop the play. There he is. He's like, uh-uh, no, no. You're not pushing me out of the way. I'm grabbing the mask, anything to keep you from doing me like that. It's actually, I don't want to say it's a smart play, but it goes from first and goal from the three to first and goal to the one and a half. 205 now in counting. He has never played a game in college in which he has not rushed for more than 100 yards. He is just amazing. We saw the 2,500 yards or so for rushing for the year. We said, that can't be right. It is. There it is. And he's in. Touchdown, Georgia Southern. It's bad enough, Rich, when you're looking at a guy coming at you that's 207, 210 pounds. He's had a big day. And he's running behind somebody 290 pounds. That's rough. Chambers will add the point. Chris Chambers takes up the extra point. And Chambers adds the point. Georgia Southern behind that man, Adrian Peterson. On top, 45 to 17. Two 
will return it from the seven. And Coleman is out to the 37-yard line. National championship game because they proved it on the field that right now, at this time, they're one of the two best teams in this division. Hottest teams. Well, hottest team. You name a sport where a champion is given to a team that just has a great regular as those two. They may be as good, but I don't think you can make a persuasive argument that anybody ought to play in that game other than those two right now. All right. Well done, counselor. 219 left in this one. Let's see if Youngstown State can mount a charge. Ryan throwing over the middle, and it's picked off. Archie Thompson. And Archie Thompson is back at the 40-yard line. And a long day gets longer for Youngstown State. Peterson straight ahead to the 38-yard line. Ian Dominelli made the stop. In one double A. That's right. And has had a great run in one A. Greg Hill. In and out of the hands of Sherrard Freeman. Get away from the triple option, but throwing the ball just stops the clock. I don't understand that one right now. Third down and eight. Hill. Thrown short and incomplete. That stops the clock. <laughs> Shelton is down at the 45-yard line. Yeah, I see Georgia Southern needs to be careful here. They've gotten sloppy in the last four or five plays here. You get sloppy, you lose your concentration. And Paul Johnson is, I think, echoing your thoughts. Youngstown has been unable to capitalize. Adrian Brown. To the 48, Jason Neese with the Adrian Brown when he comes inside. Second six. Ryan. He has swallowed. Oh, how about Von Celius Allen? And digested by Eugene Phillips. Von Allen got the first shot. Sixth sack. And Allen has just been incredible. Remember, he was one of the guys the first couple of series, Rich, he wasn't playing that well, getting driven off the ball a little bit. Since then, that first quarter, since then, Allen has been dominant inside, blasting through double teams and getting sacks. On to the fourth. Georgia Southern on an emotional high. The Eagles are 15 minutes from a national championship. Back after this. Davenport Field, Finley Stadium in Chattanooga. And those wearing the blue of Georgia Southern are having a pretty darn good time. Youngstown State down 45-17 as we start this fourth quarter. Jeff Ryan, who has been sacked six times. Going down to the sideline for Ray, and it's broken up. Great coverage by Earthwind Moreland. They said he was great. He's <laughs> proven it. <laughs> he is. Fourth down. Anthony Razzo. This is Williams. And he goes down at the 20. Flags go down everywhere. And this will back Georgia Southern up. The pitch is to Peterson. There he goes. Okay, all right. The guy's good. He's good. He is the real thing. No question about it. Now, remember, earlier we talked a little bit about Jerry Rice. When he was in Division I AA, had great numbers. People looked at it and said, that can't be real. Is he that great? This guy is doing the same thing as a sophomore. There's a big hole that time. You saw the vision he had, the great speed, but watch how he continues to get yardage after contact. 
I think this man has a whole lot of stuff. Watch him deliver a blow here. Bang, right there. And then a little bit more at the end. Bang, right there. That's Walter Paytonist delivering a blow when they're about to hit you. Hill falls on the loose ball. He's the first sophomore to ever win the Walter Payton Award. We'll have time to develop. Let me ask both. Well, I'll ask you after this play. And you talk about the type of offense that he runs. Greg Hill. And this is Edmund Coley who fills in for Adrian Peterson once in a while. If you're a pro scout, Rod or, or Don, and you come. Ran this offense, Billy Sims, same issues. He came out. David Overstreet, Kenny King, all those guys. They did pretty well in the NFL. Yes, they did. This is Sherrard Freeman to the 30. Down in a room, diagram a defense and say, how would you protect against a blitz? Where's the responsibility? They want to know that he can do more than what you see him doing right now. They want to know that he can see the defense, read it, and, and make game record. Flag, it'll be a motion call, and Peterson, I think, sensing that, just goes down. David Vecchione made the stop. Well, that of the, of the quarterback, he was back in an eye-back position and took the toss. That's something he would take in other kind of offensive systems outside of the option that you're seeing here today. So that was... Maybe Napoleon Coffin was a guy who didn't really make that transition as well, but going back to the Oklahoma days, there are many. Uh, but nowadays, most of the Division one teams are running that kind of ISO offense. That one incomplete. Yes. I don't think there's any chance that he's going to wind up coming out early. Fourth down and five. Georgia Southern will go for it. And Hill will follow Peterson to the 13-yard line. Bruce Hightower nap on first and ten now from the 13. Revere to the seven. For Georgia Southern can be... Uh, <laughs> which can be quite substantial at times. Look at this. That just doesn't make any sense. 529 in rushing yards. You know, if you're the defensive... Three different Georgia Southern runners are over 100 yards. Peterson in his 246. Benny Cunningham 129. And Hill now at 109. The pitch from Revere. Trying to get outside and in. Touchdown. Mark Myers. That's a huge celebration. Everybody's getting into the act for Jules. We'll try to add the point and add to what has become a blowout. Chambers with a point. Georgia Southern won three national championships in the 80s. In 90, they got their fourth. And in 1999, it looks like their fifth is on the way. Georgia Southern up big. Georgia Southern to kick off. Greg Giannis on the 948 left in this championship game. Adrian Brown to the 30. A power guy, 235 pounds, can catch the ball. I think he's got a future. Second down. Ryan deep down the right side. Incomplete. Andre Coleman. Was the end. Don't find the same kind of players. It's inside. The tackles, the guards, defense alignment. They're not as big as they are at the Division 1A level. Here's the five receiver set. Ryan to the 30-yard line. Of course, scholarship limits. Uh, Youngstown State will punt it. Yeah, it is so difficult to recruit big-time players to the one double-A level when they know they aren't going to play against Tennessee, Nebraska, Ohio State, and those types of teams. But what happens a lot of times is a great edge Southern, a 52-17 lead over Youngstown State, the Division I AA championship game. And the Eagles 
are going to bring a couple guys off the sideline. You can hear that ovation. You see the bottom of your screen there. Adrian Peterson and Greg Hill on their way out. And the Eagles will keep it on the ground. Crutches or no crutches tonight, he'll be dancing a little bit. How long do you think it'll be before he calls Big Brother Michael at the Colts and says, hey, did you watch my ball game? Look at Revere. Look at Revere. J.R. Revere. Touchdown, Georgia Southern. I think the offense is in pretty good hands next season, Rich. <laughs> Yeah, you take one guy out and you bring in another guy who is just as fast, just as athletic. And there seems to be a flag down. I'm not certain if that is for the, uh, the celebration afterwards or on the play. 45, Chris Chase, the extra point. You know, as a coach, kick for him. And he hits it. J.R. Revere, the sophomore out of LaGrange, Georgia. A little glimpse into the future, which is looking quite bright right now. Georgia Southern, 59-17. It wasn't quite Paul Revere's ride, but it was close. The penguins are coming. The yeah. penguins are coming. Something like that. Andre Coleman. And he's out to the 28-yard line. The man he replaced Hill was over 100 at 112. Adrian Brown. Adrian Brown. And up, a lot of power, knocking Georgia Southern around. Got their second touchdown, and then after that, Rich, it was all downhill. Georgia Southern figured out how to stop, stop him from running the ball, and that was pretty much it for him. Georgia Southern calls a timeout. We'll burn one of our own as well. Six and a half left in this championship game. <laughs> she'll wake up from this one in Youngstown State. We'll get ready for next year. Adrian Brown, Paul Johnson in his third season. Twice he has been to the championship game. And a little bit of redemption for last year's loss to UMass. Brown to the 49-yard line. whether they could really hang with this team from the Gateway Conference. Well, question answered, huh? Well, but remember, they don't have those computers in there. <laughs> Down goes uh, Jeff Ryan. East Carolina, Texas Christian University. That's going to be fun. LaDainian Tomlinson is the leading rusher in the country. Not a lot of people know that. I'll tell you what. If he puts on the kind of show next Wednesday that Adrian Peterson put on today, a whole lot of people will be talking about him. What a great story it's been for East Carroll. Finished at nine and two. Wait till you see their quarterback, David Garrard. I think, oh, you're, I think he's you're hard to miss. Him. Yeah. Big guy, good quarterback. I saw him in their, their opener. It's West Virginia. Caught Giles, and he's out of bounds. Ryan to the end zone, flags down, ball loose. They're going to flag. Oh, who's watching that? I uh, know, you're not. <laughs> Big guy like that, you got to put your hands on him. On the defense, the ball will be placed at the two-yard line. Art Bellows was watching. This is what happens when you work with a lawyer. <laughs> First and goal. It's Brown. Well, 
and a practicing one at that. He's down close to the goal line. Where's Toretto when I need him? <laughs> Straight ahead goes Adrian Brown. And Adrian Brown is into the end zone. Youngstown State sticks it in. And a proud group of fans that have come from Youngstown, Ohio. Mark Griffith. And Griffith unity means a lot to him. Yep. And uh, he really enjoys what he is doing right now at that school in that city. The grass is not always green. After the 35 yard line, Georgia Southern on the return. Basil Mack. J.R. Revere will hand it. You look out with these teams being relatively young. They could be back vying for a championship in the next year or two. Revere. And that one is Mark Myers on the carry. A little extracurricular activity back there. The Georgia Southern. He hired an assistant coach named Paul Johnson. And Johnson is back. He saw those numbers. Revere the carry. He's out to the 47 yard line. 59 points in a championship game being a, a record at this level and over 600 yards rushing. That is just. To the 46 yard line is Stewart. The year in one double A, Adrian Peterson. <laughs> well, he won the Walter Payton Award, so I think I think you're you're right on on that one, Stewart. <laughs> Stewart at the 47, <laughs> and it'll be third down. What he's done, you know, now what, 27, 2800 yards this season. Next year, let's say he comes back and he runs for 2000. Is that a bad year? No, it's a great year. But he is setting the bar so high, it's ridiculous. Stewart, the carry to the 35-yard line. Paul Johnson getting his uh, congratulations. A little bit of uh, Gatorade, I think, might be headed his direction. And Revere down to a knee. Paul Johnson would like to start another run like Georgia Southern had in the 80s. They started the 90s with a national championship. They finished the 90s with another title. Their fifth in one double A football. And the game ball is going to that guy, Adrian Peterson. He's got to wait till the clock expires. He's got the ball. He's got the championship. And Georgia Southern fans flood this field. 